back in freehand some stuff. Do a little fill in. Watch what I do here. Instead of laying it completely flat down, like if I just want a part of that, a hold it where it's kind of at a 45 and just barely shoot over the top. It gives you a nice sharp edge. It's easy to get carried away when you're doing this and just add too many flames. Now we're just doing it in base coats, we're not doing cannies. Cannies you want to do it in step by step and layer by layer. We're just doing one step here, well actually two steps. We did the hot rod red and then we went back over with the chrome yellow. As you can see, it fills in real nicely. But it's easy to get carried away and add too many flames on this small of an area. We've got kind of a mess up right here where we smeared it, so we'll just go back in here. Just lightly spray it back in, cover it back up. Now remember, when you've got your stencil here, pull it this direction. So I'm going to show you just really quick what will happen if you don't do that. So you see you got it right here and you're spraying on it, and all of a sudden you move it this way, there's what happens. So clean your edge off, put it back in the same spot, and lightly spray it in again. Cover it back up. And if it still doesn't cover up, air dry it just a little bit. Take another part of your stencil, flip it around a different direction. And go back across where that area was. Now it's hidden again. When you stand back and look, it looks like these two almost mirror image each other, so I'm going to connect them. I'll show you how to do that. Stick another piece back in the center here while they fog it back together and just start layering it up in there. Now they're connected. All right, we're all finished with our airbrushing here as far as doing all of our uh, layouts of our flames. Now what I've done is I've already had all the lettering cut. I don't know if you can see that. We've got all our lettering cut and we're gonna go back in and do exactly what I've done here. We're gonna lay it out and I'm gonna pull, there's pieces in the center here. I'm gonna pull those pieces out and I'm gonna spray all this white. And then I'm gonna take these pieces like the G, the L, E, all that. We'll lay it back in on top of it and then spray the charcoal border around the outside. And I'll also we'll spray the black. What we're doing now is just pulling our centers out. I'm going to spray all this in the background. For the white pieces I'm pulling out, I'm going to spray white actually. And then we're going to lay these back in the same area and I'm going to spray gray with a little bit of uh, metallic around it, which will give us the outside border. We'll just put these back on our paint mask piece. The reason I spray my black down first is so it covers all the orange and covers up all the dots. Now I'm going to take my masking tape and I'll mask off the areas that I want to stay black. Then I'm going to go back in and we're going to spray white around all these edges. Then I'll take the pieces that we originally took out and I saved on the other piece of paper and we'll lay those back inside and then we'll spray our gray around the outside and put a little bit of metallic over top of that and then we should be done. We've covered up all of our black that we want to keep. Now we got our white inside our guns here inside our airbrush and we're just start whitening out all the inside areas. Just kind of do it in layers. You don't want to put this on as a high build. Do this about three, four times and we'll let it set for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll put our lettering in it and then we'll spray our gray mixture back around the edges. We're just about finished with our white here. And we'll put our letters back in the insets here and we'll spray our gray mixture around the outside with a little bit of metallic on it. Go back and lay all these inside here and we'll spray our gray mixture around the outer edges. Well, 
Nice and stick here, it's pretty hot out. There we go. What I'm doing right now, just spraying the gray, just kind of do it in uh, layers. I'll put about two, three layers on it, and then we'll just let it dry. Now we're just going to go over it a little bit with a little bit of pewter gray metallic and just kind of highlight the top edges of all the lettering. Now that it's dried for about 10-15 minutes, I'm just going to take my razor blade here and I'm going to pick out the center pieces and we'll just lay them off to the side and it looks like it's ready to unmask now. Finish unmasking it here and we're going to put it in the booth in a couple minutes. Throw some clear on her. Got all our airbrushing done, we're gonna take it in the booth now and clear coat it. As you can see, we sprayed it over top of an orange base instead of a black base this time. The realistic plans I did this way is just to show you that you can do it in base coats instead of using all the candy colors. It's just a different technique. If you wanna see these in action, make sure you check out Jasper Blake on the next Iron Man competition.